OK, so let's investigate y equals f of minus x. So I've moved the minus sign into the bracket now. Let's see what happens. All right, so let's get some graph ready. Some guidelines. So there's minus 1 and 1. OK, so starting off with 0, 0, when x is 0, f of 0 is 0. So when x is 0, this is still f of 0, and so we're still at the origin. So that point hasn't moved. That stayed fixed. Now, how about when x is 90? Well, then I get f of minus 90, which I don't know anything about. OK, it's not on my graph. So that means that the curve doesn't exist when x is 90. OK, so in fact, any of these points, 90, 180, 270, 360, none of these points actually exist over here. So I've really got to think about, well, if I had f of, um, so if I looked at minus 90, for example, then I would have f of minus minus 90. So f of 90, I know about, that's 1. So minus 90 must be at 1. And minus 180 must be at 0. And so the curve must look something like this. Well, that was a bit poor there. OK, so there's minus 90. There's minus 180. There's minus 270. And there's minus 360. Still going between minus 1 and 1. So what's happened is that the curve has, instead of being reflected in the x-axis like last time, this is a reflection in the y-axis. All of the x-coordinates have changed sign. All the y-coordinates have stayed precisely the same value. So when we're looking at y equals f of x, being transformed to y equals f of minus x, this is known as a reflection in the y-axis. OK? So that is how we investigate this f of minus x.